Leiko is a Chinese company that recently made a splash in the US market when it announced the Leiko Lip Pro 3, which we unboxed last month, and the Leiko Lay S3, which we're about to unbox now. The Lay S3 is a budget smartphone that costs only $250 off contract and it features a lot of high-end specs, or at least uh, very appealing specifications for the price. It features a metal unibody build construction, a 5.5 inch full HD display, a Snapdragon 652 processor with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage, there's a 16 megapixel rear and 8 megapixel front facing camera, 3000 milliamp hour battery, and a fingerprint scanner. So all you need to do to get inside the box is slice off the two pieces of tape holding the box together and lift off the top, and voila! We'll find the S3 sitting right on top, which I'm actually gonna set off to the side for now. Underneath, we have quite a few accessories. We have a pair of earphones that resemble Apple's ear pods, and since there's no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the S3, Leiko has provided a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter right here in the box. There's also a fast charging wall wart and USB type C cable. We have a paper pamphlet to the left of these accessories that contains some get started information. A SIM card ejector tool and a protective silicone case is inside, uh, which is really nice to see here included in the box. I always like to see cases here included uh, in the box with a smartphone. Now if we unwrap the S3 from its protective plastic, we'll see a very premium smartphone. It consists entirely of aluminum and it actually feels really good in the hands. The edges are chamfered ever so slightly, but the build itself is very simple and boxy. It's very rigid and it feels very sturdy. Now the boxy shape and design is not a bad thing in my opinion. Uh, we will see the fingerprint scanner that is located on the rear. Um, it works very well to unlock the phone, but it will be a little bit more difficult to use if the device is uh, laying flat on a surface. The S3 features a modest 5.5 inch 1080p LCD display. Uh, it's an LCD display, so you're not going to find those extra contrasted or saturated colors found on most AMOLED panels but it's still a very appealing display with good viewing angles and brightness. Under the hood, we'll find a Snapdragon 652 octa-core processor with three gigabytes of RAM. This chip is designed for budget smartphones as it offers pretty high-end performance for a middle of the road price. In my testing, I found the phone to perform well, but I can tell it's not quite up to par with the Pro 3. Also, it's not quite as smooth or fluid as a phone running stock Android. Uh, both of those two things can be expected though. The Lay S3 is a heavily skinned smartphone, as you can see here. Uh, there's no app drawer, and there's a ton of bloatware and Leiko media applications. Now, since Leiko is so focused on media and entertainment, they have included an IR blaster in this device. It's right on top of the device, uh, and it's something that you don't really see very often in many flagship smartphones nowadays. A couple years ago, it was pretty standard, but it just didn't last for whatever reason. Personally though, I really do like to see an IR blaster on my smartphones. But since this is Android, you can install the Google Now Launcher to make the phone return to some of its roots, but the settings drawer and the notification panel will still be pretty heavily skinned. The 16 megapixel rear facing camera sensor features face detection autofocus and a LED flash. It can capture some pretty decent images. Uh, the rule of thumb is that the more light, the crispier images will be. And that's, you know, very true here, you know, especially with uh, budget smartphones. You can be the judge of the image quality. I will say the eight megapixel front facing camera uh, is pretty nice and wide. So if you do a lot of video calls, you won't have to hold this camera at arm's length to keep your head in the frame. I haven't used this phone enough to really gauge the battery life. However, the power efficient Snapdragon 652 processor and 1080p display uh, should really help the 3000 milliamp hour battery last a long time. The phone also features Qualcomm's fast charging 3.0 technology, which is a very welcomed feature as it'll be able to charge uh, this device um, up to about 80% in just 35 minutes. I mean, that's nothing to overlook. That's a pretty awesome feature. The speakers on the S3 are bottom facing and audio is only emitted from the right set of speaker grills. The speakers on the S3 are bottom facing and audio is only emitted from the right hand uh, set of speaker grills. The quality is also a bit noisy and it's not very crisp, unfortunately. I would recommend headphones, but just keep in mind there's no built-in headphone jack, so you will need to use the USB-C adapter, unfortunately. And uh, just like with the iPhone, you're probably not gonna have the adapter with you at all times. So it's just kind of inconvenient, to say the least. 
Overall, the Late S3 is geared for those who consume a lot of media. The IR Blaster is a nice inclusion, as well as the 1080p display, uh, octa-core processor, and metal unibody build construction. For $250, the Late S3 might be perfect for those who don't want to shell out the extra $50 or so for the Motorola Moto G4 Plus, for example. But the decision to pick up this phone gets all the more complicated when you uh, factor in other devices like the OnePlus 3T, which is only $100 or $200 more. With that said, I'd love to hear your thoughts of this device in the comments section below. Thumbs up are appreciated. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDag.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.